sorry. I mean, I, I, you must be wondering why I, I, I look like this. I, I know, I know. I should be on cloud nine. And I am. But? Um, Zach uh, finally told me what happened on the plane. Or what he actually remembers. Must have been hard to hear. Yeah, well, I'm sure it was a lot harder to have actually lived it. But anyway, uh, this, this is me, sucking it up. Zach is home, and that's all that matters. I could name a couple other things. I'm gonna get a water. Do you want anything? I just want you to be happy. Thank you. Vitals look good. Just gonna run another course of blood work. Make sure the infection's on its way out. What's going on between you and my wife? Hey. Hi. Did Ryan make it up here yet? I told him I meet him at Zach's room. I uh, told Ryan to lay off of Zach, especially when it comes to David. Don't worry. He gets it. Are you okay? Why does everybody keep asking me that? Well, maybe because it looks like you're about to jump out of your skin. Uh, I, I, I keep waiting for the, the sun to rise and me to open my eyes and, and wake up and this whole thing will have just been a dream. It's not. Trust me, I know. Well, what does that mean? When David drugged me, I had the most vivid I can't even tell you how real it was. About what? Leo. But then I woke up and he was gone and Zach was in his bed. Wow, that's intense. Yeah. So what exactly was the dream about? This family supports local candidates all the time. Candidates that run their platform on fundraising ethics. Yeah, that's right. So Judge Bertain probably took your little donation, and now he's going to use it against you and make you an example. I think you're giving our friend, the judge, a little bit too much credit. <sighs> what I offered was more than generous. All right, you know what? I'm going to see if I can go clean this up and keep this whole thing from getting thrown out. You do that. <sighs> what? Nice work, Jerry. You just... Blew your last chance of getting AJ back. I didn't blow anything. Yes, you You'll see. You know, I don't know who is more delusional, you or, or my mother. Would you give Liza a break? She's making an effort. She wants to work things out with you. Yeah, and she wants to work things out with my boyfriends, too. I'm very lucky. Oh, really? Would you rather have my mom, who cuts and runs anytime she feels like it? You know, have your issues with Dixie. That's fine, okay? But don't make it out like my mom is some sort of saint or something. Liza has her downfalls. We all do. But she loves you. Just like I love AJ. Everybody makes mistakes. Yeah, yeah admitting them and, and saying you're sorry, Jer, is not enough. You and my mom, you're the parents, not me and AJ. At, at some point, you need to stop making the mistakes. Are you done? No, I, I'm, not, I'm not done. And what is this? What is this? Is this like alcohol in your coffee or Kobe. something? No, JR, you are not a loving father. You are selfish drunk. Green card marriage, huh? Wow. That takes a walk on the law side. He saved my life. Hmm. And I'm sure you're very grateful. Perhaps even more than that, huh? All right, you gotta tell me. What is it that women see in that oversized gnome? Okay, you know, I'm gonna tell you that this is pointless because Tad and I are meant to be, and uh, it's time to move on. Where to? Um, I'm gonna go underground, you know, to avoid deportation. Well, that's not the only way. Staying married to Tad's not an option. Why not? Well, I'm sure that we'll go through the motions just to keep you alive. 
you know, he probably would, but then, then where does that leave me? I'm stuck. Nose pressed against the glass, watching what I almost had. Can I tell you the story of my life? All right, look, I don't know you very well, but you don't strike me as an outside-looking-in kind of gal. Well, that's because you don't remember that I spent most of my adolescence in hospitals, watching the world go by. But I'll tell you, when I beat that cancer, it was like full steam ahead for me. College, med school, I did everything I could to make up for all that lost time. But you did join Doctors Without Borders, right? I did. I met Jake. I, we fell in love, and he was like... I actually thought he was going to be my soulmate, but, you know, being a doctor, that came first, I made this decision, and that particular decision cost me everything, and I was back on my own, again. So you landed right here in beautiful Pine Valley. Mm-hmm. But for the first time, I actually felt like I was part of the community, you know, there were friends, I had family, I had a parking spot at the hospital, I let myself believe the dream. Well, I'm just grateful there were no more Martin Spawn out of it. Thank you, God. <laughs> it's terrible. Until the rug was pulled right out from underneath me. And my brother, too. And I suppose you despise me for that. Saving lives? No. Tad and Kathy and Kendall, they're like... Some of the sweetest people I've ever known, and they deserve to be happy. And what about you? What do you deserve? Speaking of Dumbo... Don't let him see me. Where is she? Where is she? Well, she's your wife. Maybe you need to keep closer tabs on her, huh? Dave, don't trick me around, okay? That's exactly what I'm doing. The cab company said they dropped her off here. Have you seen her or not? As a matter of fact, I have. I'll be it briefly. Well, did she tell you where she was headed? Nope. But by the looks of it, she didn't look happy. Yeah. You're welcome, by the way. For what? What did you do now? Wow, I'm shocked. Is that any way to talk about our dearly beloved Dixie? You know, Dave, you saved her. Don't get me wrong, for that I'm grateful. But you also scared the hell out of her. Now, I don't know how you did that, but I intend to find out. And when I do... Mm. I don't think he's going to give up anytime soon. Well, this makes the fact that my uh, plane's been delayed a million hours all the more infuriating, because that was the airline. Mm -hmm. I don't have any place to stay. Well, I think you do. Mm -hmm. How about my place? You want to taste this one? Make sure it's not spiked. Big deal, Jerry. You poured out a whole cup of coffee. You both know the second I leave, you're just going to fill it up again. No, I won't. Why? Because you're a change man? No, because you're right. <sighs> Drinking is selfish. Well, it's certainly not doing me any favors in the father department. Yeah, well, neither is trying to be dad. JR, I know things suck right now, and Marissa taking AJ, it sucks. But it doesn't give you a free pass. I know. Then deal with it. You saved Kendall's life. Must have been intense. I've been in hairier situations in a smashed up ambulance. With a woman like my wife? Guess how old you went? I took an oath. All I did was live up to that. Your lover. 
I love Ryan more than anything. But this dream, it just, it just brought out the what ifs. I mean, losing Leo like that, so suddenly, no goodbye. That's the worst feeling in the world. I mean, part of me still physically aches for him. Is that wrong? No. No. But Ryan. Yes, Ryan. Ryan is your present and your future. It doesn't erase the past. I mean, you lost Leo too early. Just like Jillian. Jillian? Where did that come from? David? Did, did David say something about that? No, but he's hinted. What, do you think it's true? I don't know. I haven't told Ryan. Why not? When David started bringing Leo up, teasing that he could be alive, I mean, it's all that I could think about. It's why I went off with David, even though I knew it could be dangerous. Because if there was a chance that I could even see Leo again, I was going to take it. And then when it happened, when I saw that smile and those eyes, the love I felt in that moment, can I swear, drowned in it. And what if, what if Ryan, what if Ryan experiences the same thing with Jillian? Yeah. So what? <laughs> So what? So what? I mean, you, you just said that the, the, the feeling that you had, it doesn't matter because Ryan is the man that you love. That's what you just said. So why, why would he feel any different? Hey. What did I just walk in on? 